Okay? So that's a very good control to reach. And the idea is like, because the double leg, I might end up on my partner guards, but you know, if I do a good double leg, I'm gonna end up on the side. So you can have this, this control, okay? And start to attack your, your point, right? Everything takes time, and obviously, you know, because there's a, it's good to know, like as a sequence, because I know more or less how you react, so I have an answer for that. Okay, so it's like, you know, he, he closed one door, opened another, and I, and I know which, which door I have to go. So he's always focused, and you know, if you practice, you know how to do it. Okay, so now uh, I would like to talk about a little bit about the, the guard position, which is like, a, is, is, in my opinion, it's like one thing that you just has, like, uh, too often, like, you know, different than other martial arts, because it can be very offensive, and also, is, is a position when getting striking involved, because that's why you don't want to be, okay? So, if I go to the floor, I have two options, try to stand up, or if I can't stand up, I have to do something from there, okay? To stand up, you use the technical stand up, okay? And the main mate stand up and, and do your game. But let's say we, we are here. And uh, on the we and we're both end up in the floor. So I need to stop my partner to get a dominant position, which could be the side control, we just learned a little bit of the mount and so on. So what we're gonna stop him is using my legs around me. So being here in, with striking is not a good place to be. Being here with no strike is a great place to be, okay? So, if I'm here and that is striking, I have to keep him either in the far range, so I need to either be here and try to use my leg and pull or I have to keep him in the close range possible, okay? Because if he tries to strike me here, it's not gonna be as effective if he throw me some bombs from here, okay? So that's the first thing, okay? So, we're going to start to try to get my partner in the close range, and then from there, put myself in a position that he cannot attack me, okay? So, if he, if he just strike me down in the frame, it's easier for me to use my legs to bring him down, okay? So I can always come up and you know, like, make a great, either like this, whatever side you want, and I've been pushing him out, and my head gets to the side, okay? That's the first thing I'm gonna do. Okay, so as soon as I bring him here, I'm gonna keep his head low as much as I can. Because his head low, his punch is not by effect if his head is up there. Okay, so now I'm going to start to move myself, okay? So whatever he tried to do, look, the first thing I like to do is to come around and trap one arm, okay? And keep my head always close to him. So if he try to punch, now look, he's hard. If you he see he's using that hand to punch, he's gone. I can always go, and now look, moving my hips, put my foot on his uh, hips, and now here, look, one, two, okay? Now using my hips to push him away. He okay, try to punch me, impossible, he punch me, boom, 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 boom. okay? So now, I have a few options for you, okay? First option, is the one I want to do, cause on the clock. So I'm gonna push him away, I lock his, uh, his, uh, his elbow, I will step this leg over, step on the floor, and then moving my hips, okay? So now look, I'm still safe here. Now look across this leg on top of this one, and I will sit up, and I will extend my both legs. I kind of kick him forward, okay? I want to touch the sole of my feet on that. So why? My aim is to touch this shoulder on the floor, so he cannot force you up. So look, all the way, boom, okay? As I sit here, look, I can let him go there and lean forwards. My stomach is blocking his arm to the side, and my hand goes all the way around to hold him to his back. Okay? That's to stop the guy maybe to roll. Okay? If he rolls over, roll over this, I'm to this position. And then I'm practicing the side control. Okay? If he doesn't roll, I will try to finish him up. So we're gonna make a hole here. Now I'm gonna bend my both legs to the side. You wanna hold your, his wrist. I wanna keep his hand on the side all the way, okay? So, one, two. Now, I'm gonna walk a little bit in a circle, since you open his elbow, and I'm gonna 
push my leg down and my head goes towards where he's handing. Okay, like I want to say something to him. Okay, he's going to tap out. Okay, so. Are you, are you trying to, try to deal with boom, boom, boom? Mm -hmm. And bring it to you. Okay, now look. I can start to trap, step on my hips, push away like a hip skate. Remember the hip skate you guys learned? Now from here, that's the first up. So here, look, I can keep it holding here. Okay, now look, once I'm here, look, I'm pushing away and I pinch my knees together. And I can first, I can put this foot here. If I want, so you cannot, uh, you cannot uh, square back on me. Okay, if I relax my body, you square back. If I keep pushing him away, go back. Impossible. Okay, then I can go. Go one, cross, push, grab the back. Go around and finish. Is that okay? Yep. Let's go. Please. 